Good morning, good morning, good Saturday morning to you, children of the living God. This is God's servant, Tammy Carter, with Fire Deliverance Ministries located on the Treasure Coast. I pray that you are having a blessed Saturday morning. My God, it's already a blessing you among the living. My God, you in there cooking your breakfast. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's something to give God thanks for. He kept you and he carried you and he covered you. My God. Hallelujah. Because if you know the spirit realm, all of us are on a battlefield. And the children of God, we have a target on our back to take us out to take us to the bottomless pit. But God, come on somebody, hallelujah, that's something to give God thanks for this morning. God is covering you. Oh my God, hallelujah, Lord God, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Well, I just wanted to come by with a quick word on today and I wanted to elaborate some more on the vision the Lord gave me on um, the other morning. And children of God, in the vision, um, again, we were planning a party. Uh, It was about 40 to 50 people in attendance. And um, I had stood up, I said, okay, um, let's pray. And everybody had stood up, got on their feet to pray. And um, when that happened, I was positioned toward my left. And when I looked toward my right, I seen about 95% of the people had sat down. And it was only a few people that were still standing. At this time, I kind of just walked over there where they was and got into their faces. And um, in some kind of way, one of the ladies, she reminded me like a a Kimberell with a Kimberell attitude when she was sitting there. And so um, I said, let me tell you, I said, that's why God do it for me, because I worship him and I praise him. And then that's when I woke up. And I want you to know, children of God, God wants to do it for his children, but he is watching. He's watching everything you do. He's looking at your hunger. Are you hungering for him or are you more involved into the world? Come on, somebody. See, you. let me tell you a little bit about myself. When I'm out here, um, I'm working, I'm constantly praying. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I magnify you. Lord, I love you. You are a good father. These are the words that rolls off. Off my mouth throughout the day hallelujah Jesus forgive me father forgive me Lord God and even you got to understand when you're reading your Bible you got to know how to apply on uh, what you're reading to your life so if you hear something in that word you need to um, you need to change it you need to repent when if the word of uh, something about backstabbing gossiping if it talks about lying and stealing if it if it talks about anything pertaining to your personal walk with God you can right then begin to go to repenting go to asking God for forgiveness and changing your ways changing your deeds my God but on the topic of what God was saying pertaining to prayer God wants to help his people. God sees his children. God sees their cries. He sees their tears. And he wants to help you in this battle. But many of you don't ask. You just believe God going to do it. Are you say, are you reaching out to other people? Pray for me. Uh Uh-uh. You can pray for yourself. You can get serious with God. God, I need you. And that's another thing I say constantly throughout the day. Lord, I need you because I need God. I don't know nothing without God. He's my eyes. He's my ears. huh? He's my breath. He, the Bible says that the breath of God is in your nostrils. Hallelujah. So I need God. My God. But children of God, when you just believe that God's going to do it, that's pride. When you don't even humble yourself and say, God, 
would you do it for me? Help me through this situation. I'm trying to get this check. I want my marriage repaired. I want my children to be delivered. Lord, help me, Lord God. Have mercy on me, God. Oh, glory, more mercy, Father. More mercy on my over my territory. But when you just have in your mind, oh, it's me. God, God love me. Oh, I know God gonna do it for me. But you didn't ask him to do it. See, a lot of people don't know the ways of God. They don't know him. Even you got to go to the Bible with David. David knew how to ask God. Should I go and should I pursue? Even the kings of the world would ask God, will we win this battle? Should we go out and fight? Because they're seeking wise counsel. I did a video about wise counsel. And they know how to go to God and get an answer. Let's go to the scripture. The Bible says in James four and three he says ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss that ye may that ye may consume it upon your lust and then when you go to verse two he say ye lust and have not ye kill and desire to have and cannot obtain ye fight in war ye have not because ye ask not so God is saying that the prayers that are reaching heaven is prayers that just so they can fulfill the desires of your lust Lord promote me on that job so you can make more money so you can go shop more for clothes you don't need so you can feel the desires of your lust so I can go on uh, 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 more vacations huh so I can stay in the nail shop you already got that included in your budget a lot of this stuff God is saying you want to fulfill the desires of your lust so you can buy these designer bags and stuff no what about saying Lord bless me that I may bless others that I may contribute to third world countries to those who are really suffering and are in the need you see Lord help me pray I'm praying for this promotion so I can be a blessing my God my God but it's all about prayer and how do you pray and what do you pray for my God well children of God I'm not going to keep you long I just wanted to elaborate on that vision and know like I said in the vision God do it for me because I praise him and I worship him and I do because I love him oh glory my God hallelujah but saints of God you be blessed on this beautiful Saturday be encouraged and be empowered know that Jesus loves you and the woman of God loves you amen